Welcome to Atma and today we are learning about layers in Photoshop. This is part 4. We will quickly have an overview of the next option which is blending modes. Blending modes are nothing but how two layers interact or blend with each other. To show you what blending mode does, I have prepared 5 layers. This is the base red layer. This is ball 1, ball 2, ball 3 and ball 4. Right now the blending mode is grayed out because we need to select at least one layer. So I will select ball 1. Blending mode is always set to normal by default. Let's see what happens if I change the blending mode of ball 1 layer to luminosity. You can clearly see that as soon as I change the blending mode to luminosity, the yellow ball is interacting differently with the base red layer. The yellow ball is now white. Let's go ahead and select ball 2 and change its blending mode to subtract. Here the yellow ball turns black. Now let's select ball 3. I'm gonna change its blending mode to overlay. This time ball has turned orange. We'll select ball 4 and its blending mode will be difference. And the ball has turned green. So you can see that the same yellow balls have blended differently with the base red layer and produced different colors. Next we are going to look at the filter option. First let me quickly go over what kind of layers I have in the layers panel. And again this is just for example, in-depth tutorials are going to be there in the future. So this is a pixel layer. This is a smart object with mask. This is a shape layer. This is also a shape layer with layer style or effects. This is a text layer. This is also a text layer. And finally, this is an adjustment layer with mask. First, we are going to filter the layers with kind. This button is for filtering pixel layers. So if I click this, it should show just this palette layer. If I toggle this, it's gonna switch off the filter and show all the layers. But with that, it's also gonna remember the filter we applied. So if I toggle this again, it's gonna bring back our initial pixel filter. Or you can click the selected filter again and get rid of the filter altogether. The next button filters adjustment layers. So we should be left with just this layer. I'll get rid of this filter by clicking on this button again. Next is filter for text layers. So these are the two text layers. This is the filter for shape layer. And finally, this is filter for smart objects. You can also have more than one filters at a time. So let me have a text filter and an adjustment filter. And this toggle option works the same way with more than one filters as well. The next type of filter is name. If I type in any of the layer names over here, it's gonna show up. Let's type in palette. So the layer name palette is the only layer now. This switch works just the same here too. The next filter type is effect. Let me first show you all the layers by switching the filter off. And notice we have only this layer with effects applied to it and the effect is outer glow. Now let's turn the filter on and then search the outer glow effect. So the layer containing the outer glow effect comes up. The next type of filter is mode. It filters specific blending modes applied to layers. Let's say I want to see all the layers which have screen as their blending mode. So if I select each of these layers, you can see that they have screen as their blending mode. 
before I show you the next filter, let me just hide a few layers by clicking on the eyeball. So the next filter we are going to see is Attribute. In this subsection, we can filter various attributes of layers. I'm going to select Not Visible. So these are the hidden layers. Then perhaps I want to see a layer which contains layer mask. So we had two masked layers in the document which came up. Then maybe I want to see a layer which contains any kind of layer effects. Here is the effect applied to the layer. You can also filter layers based on labeled color. By default it's set to none and that is why only the layers containing no color labels on them are showing. But let me just select red. So now only the red labeled layer is showing. And if I select green, only the green labeled layers will show up. You can filter layers based on smart objects. So this is the only layer containing smart object. I'm going to teach you these filter options when I make a separate tutorial on smart object later. To show you the next filter, let me just select a couple of layers. Then if I choose selected as my filter, only the layers which I have selected will show up. For the next and last filter, I'm going to use a different example. I've created two artboards, artboard 1 and artboard 2 and placed some contents inside them. If you don't know what artboards are, I have made few tutorials on artboards and I'll put the links in the description. Now let me just select any of the two artboards, maybe artboard 1. You can see that as soon as I've clicked on artboard 1, the contents inside artboard 1 has expanded in the layers panel. Now if you just want to see the artboard you are currently working on, go up to filter and then choose artboard. So this just shows our working artboard which is artboard 1. And this is all I have for this tutorial. Make sure to check the other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.